what are, what, what's this? Baby hairs, baby hairs. Hey guys, what's up, it's Brooke. So today I thought I would do a tag video because today literally my day has been consisting of me sitting in front of my camera and my lighting and being like, what should I film? And I'm gonna be doing the My Makeup Story tag today for you guys. Okay, the first question is, how old were you when you first started wearing makeup? I was 13, right when I became a teenager, my mom was like, here, have some makeup. So that is basically what happened. I actually have um, a makeup tutorial on the products I wore when I was 13, so I will link that down below, or the screen. I hope you guys like it. Um, how did you get into makeup? Probably about two years before I was allowed to wear makeup, I started watching YouTube videos, and I was like, makeup! And I became super, super obsessed. Um, I like to be creative and stuff, but drawing is not my thing. I can't draw for the life of me. And I think makeup is kind of cool because it's like I'm drawing, but on my face, if that makes sense. I'm just obsessed with it. Um, I really, I don't know. I like makeup. I think it's fun. And, yeah. Um, what are some of your favorite brands? <sighs> so, favorite brands for drugstore, Maybelline and Elf, I would say. And favorite brands for higher end would have to be Urban Decay and... Probably Benefit. Yeah, Urban Decay and Benefit are my favorites um, for high end. And then, what does makeup mean to you? Makeup means, you know, it's, okay, it might be a little weird, but to me, it's... That's what I just did. To me, makeup is pretty much just an art form, and some people might be like, what? But, like, when I do makeup and when I put it on, I just... It's not like I'm doing makeup to feel anything. It's more like I'm doing it because I just, I like the application process and if it happens to look good after that's just like a little bonus. But I actually, I love just putting it on and like that act of doing that. So it just, it's kind of an art form for me, kind of a way I can express myself and fun things of the sort. So if you could only wear four products on your face, what would they be? Sorry, I kind of zoned out. Um. If I could only wear four products, I would probably wear concealer, mascara, bronzer, and eyeshadow. Yeah, those are my four products. Um, what is your favorite thing about makeup? My favorite thing, this is kind of like what it means to me. Um, it's just honestly what I said about what it means to me. It's just the fact, well, I love collecting makeup and I love trying out new makeup. That's probably my favorite thing is trying out something brand new. Even if it's not like new in stores, if it's like new to me, that's just super cool. Um, what do you think about drugstore versus high-end makeup? Honestly, I think each of them have their ups and their downs, even high-end makeup, but probably... What do I think about them? I like both of them. I will take any makeup I can get. And yeah, I just, I think they're both really kind of have a little bit more of a specialty in each area, you know, um, so that's kind of what I think, but I will buy, you know, everything at the drugstore, like a full face at the drugstore and high end, so, yeah. Um, what is one tip of advice you can give to a beginner? One tip I would have to say is when starting off with makeup, you're most likely young or, you know, teen years, you know, young teen. So just know that at that age, you honestly don't have to put that much on. And yeah, with me, it's like an, the art of doing it or whatever. But it's also nice if you feel good. So just know that when you're first starting out, to really start light and work your way up through the years. Um, yeah, so don't like ever crowd your face full makeup or anything, especially if like one day you're not wearing any and then the next day you're wearing all of it for like the rest of your life. Yeah, and if you have perfect skin, don't bother. I actually have um, a middle school makeup kit, which I will link down below for you guys. Um, speaking of that kit, I'm not going to be doing a makeup tutorial for middle schoolers, I don't think, this year. Or at least not right now. So, just so you guys know. Um, what is one makeup trend you never understood? Um, with me and makeup, it's honestly... You know, maybe I wouldn't wear something, but if someone else wears it and they rock it, that is their own 
prerogative and that's totally cool for them. I don't, I can't think of anything that I don't really understand. Um, honestly, I just, I don't know. I would have to say that makeup is for everybody and everyone has different styles and different techniques and if you want to do it, go for it. I really, I don't think I'm going to answer. I'm sorry. That's really annoying. Um, what do you think about the beauty community on YouTube? I think that this community is super, super cool. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of high school in a way, everyone says, and I kind of agree, but... Um, if you're, especially if you're new to YouTube, everyone's, like, everyone that comments and stuff, they're just, they're just so nice, and you really don't get, well, I at least didn't, and I feel like this is most cases, especially beauties, beauty videos and stuff, you really don't get hate when you first start off with making videos. Um, the hate, I feel like, will probably come on later on, which I'm so excited for, not really. Um, but yeah, I just think that there are a lot, a lot of positives, you know, everyone's super, super nice, and you can really tell through videos how someone acts in person, and it's, it's just kind of, it's kind of cool to see into someone else's life. Um, I think that would probably, probably is what I think about it. Um, everything has their ups and downs, like everything in life does, so I don't think that YouTube is any different, but I do think that it is super cool how YouTube is and how it came about and how we've kind of sculpted YouTube from cat videos to everything. And it's, it's really neat. So that is the video, you guys. This tag, I feel like, was kind of short. So yay for a short video for once. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, comment, thumbs up, and all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.